Thank you for purchasing your Third Eye X2 MR glasses. When you open your X2 box, you find an inner box that lifts open to reveal the protective carry case. The protective carry case can be used to store your X2 MR glasses when not in use. You can open this carry case using the zippers on the side of the case. In the protective carry case, you will find your X2 MR glasses, a wall charger with a USB charging cable, a cleaning cloth for cleaning the displays, an optional head strap to be worn with your X2 MR glasses, and a set of wired earbuds. The X2 MR glasses can be charged using the USB-C port located on the left side arm of the headset. Simply insert a USB-C charging cable and press for the click to occur. The device can be charged while in use or can be left on the desk to charge. External battery packs can be used to extend the runtime of the headset while you are using applications. Charging indication LEDs are located on the top left arm of the glasses. The orange LED will power on when the headset is charging. The white LED will power on when the headset has reached a full charge. Three hardware buttons can be found on the top right of the X2 MR glasses. The buttons provide a number of functionalities. Starting from the front, we have the power button. This button can be used to power your X2 headset. While the headset is running, you can quickly press the power button to put the headset to sleep or wake it up. The second button is the back button. This button can be used to go back to the home screen when running apps on your X2 MR glasses. This button can also be used to bring the user to the home screen. The third button is the select button. This button allows the user to perform click operations when using the head motion cursor. This button is like the left click button on a computer mouse. The X2 MR glasses can be worn by putting the device on your head from the top down. Consider it like putting on a baseball hat or cap, but continuing until your eyeline is aligned with the headset. If you desire to customize the fitment of the X2 MR glasses, you can use the provided head strap and nose piece to customize to your needs. The nose piece can be adjusted by bending the rubber structure on the nose bridge. The elastic ring of the head strap is installed on the ear stem and secured by bringing it to the slot on the rubber portion of the headset ear stem. The X2 headset has been tested over 10,000 times by the manufacturer for all head sizes. If it is too loose, we recommend wearing the head strap. If too tight, over time the hinges will loosen. Prescription inserts can be installed on the top of the X2 nose piece. Simply align the insert with the side of the display and place the insert into the loop on the nose piece. Turn on the X2 by pressing and holding the power button. You will hear the haptic buzzer audio sound immediately after pressing the power button and the white LED will turn on immediately as well to indicate that the X2 is on. It takes a few seconds after pressing the power button for the display to turn on with the third eye logo. If the white LED or displays do not turn on, that means the headset's battery is low. Please connect the headset to the charger before trying to power it on. When the headset is powered on, the power button can be used to power off the glasses. Simply press the power button for five seconds until the powering down screen and sound are played. When powering on your X2 headset, the first application you will experience is the built-in launcher application. The launcher will be your home base during your time using the X2 headset. It will allow you to launch other applications that have been installed on your X2 headset. The home screen will display selected installed applications that have moved to the main screen. My applications will display all currently installed apps. X2 can utilize some existing Android applications using ADB sideloading. Tutorial apps are present on the X2 MR glasses. These tutorials cover the three system control methods, head motion, voice commands, and gestures. The tutorials provide step-by-step -step instructions for each control method and highlight key features. If this is your first time using the X2 headset, it is recommended that you complete the tutorials. To use the head motion cursor, you simply move your head up, down, left, or right. 
the cursor will follow these movements. At the top of your screen, you'll see the Gaze UI Control tab from left to right. The buttons are Home Screen, Switch to Stereoscopic Mode, Back, Scroll Up and Scroll Down, Toggle Gesture Control On or Off, Zoom In and Zoom Out, Settings, All Tabs, and Minimize UI Tab. The X2 voice command interface allows for hands-free operation of the X2 MR glasses. The voice command interface runs locally on the X2 MR glasses. This allows for the use of voice in any situation and with decreased delay. The voice interface relies on a wake-up phrase to accept voice commands. The wake phrase is OK third eye. After saying the wake-up phrase, you can string together any sequence of commands until the phrase stop listening is heard or the recognizer does not hear a voice command for one minute. To show a full list of voice commands, say show commands list. Here are some examples of common voice commands that can allow for the complete hands-free operation of the X2 MR glasses. There are two types of voice commands, global command, which is accessible while working in any application, and app commands, which provide specific functions when using a particular app. Some examples of common global commands are show commands list. This shows a list of available voice commands. Scroll up down, scroll the display contents up and down, open app name, opens an app with the corresponding name, volume up down, raises or lowers the X2's output volume, brightness up down, raises or lowers the X2's display brightness. Motion select performs a click operation at the current head motion cursor position. Some examples of app commands are take picture, takes a picture in the open camera app, camera zoom in, out, zoom in, out in the open camera app. Remote assistance, opens the remote assistance menu in the Real Eye app. My data, opens the My Data menu in the Real Eye app. Using the X2 interface, you can access the Android system settings to configure a Wi-Fi network. Open My Application, locate and open the Settings application, locate and open the Network and Internet menu option. Select the Wi-Fi menu option and from the network list, choose the network you are trying to connect to. Enter the password of the chosen Wi-Fi network and select Connect. Confirm that the network is connected and provides internet connectivity. And lastly, the Wi-Fi settings can be closed. The X2 MR glasses screen contents can be mirrored to a computer in order to view the screen or control the X2. There are a number of options available for doing so. To highlight two of these solutions, Visor, which can be downloaded from visor.io, link in the description, is an easy to use tool to mirror the displayed content. Screen Copy, link in the description, is a free open source tool that provides many features like full resolution viewing and wireless ADV with no additional purchases. To perform screen mirroring on the X2, you must connect your X2 headset to the computer. Attach one end of the USB cable to the X2 USB-C charging and data port. The other end of the USB cable should be connected to the computer's USB host port. This video will cover screen mirroring in the Visor application. Once Visor is installed, the application can be opened on your computer. The Visor app will display the X2 device under Android devices in the green box. X2 will appear as SDM710 for ARM64. Three buttons will appear to the right of the device name. The buttons are Share Device, View Wirelessly, and View Device. Selecting View Device will open another window with screen mirroring content. To start screen mirroring using Screen Copy, please reference the tool's documentation linked in the description. Screen mirroring tools mentioned in this video will provide remote control of the X2 headset. This means you will be able to select icons and other clickable menu items using the mouse pointer and enter text using the keyboard. The screen mirror tools mentioned in this video are capable of recording mirror content. Please reference the tool documentation listed in the description. Before installing a new update on your X2 MR glasses, please make sure your glasses are above 40% battery. 
we recommend having your glasses plugged into a charger for the duration of the new update to ensure they do not run out of battery in the middle of an installment. To install an over-the-air update, begin by clicking on My Applications to open your application library, then locate and open the Third Eye OTA Updater application. Once in the app, you can check to see if there is a new software update for your X2MR glasses by clicking on the Check for Update button. If there is an update available, you can begin downloading the update by clicking Download Now. Once the over-the-air update is finished downloading, click the Install Now button on a pop-up window. You will be asked to apply the update, which you can do by clicking OK. After the update is applied, the final step of the process will be rebooting your glasses, which can be completed by selecting Restart Now. Third Eye's Real-Eye Enterprise Augmented Reality and Artificial Intelligence software is used worldwide by governments, enterprises, and individuals. If you don't have a Real-Eye account, you can create one at realeye.thirdeigen.com. You can choose between free or paid options. For this demo, we will choose a free enterprise account. You can always upgrade your account at a later stage. Once you make your account, you can use the same login credentials on your phone as well. Up to three simultaneous devices can be logged into. Fill in either business or personal information. The onboarding email will contain your enterprise name, email address, and a temporary password. This temporary password can be used to log in into your account for the first time. You can easily log in via the glasses by scanning the QR code provided by the Realeye website. Just select X2 Login on the Realeye Login page. On the Third Eye's glasses, select the Login with QR Code option, and you will then be prompted to scan your Login QR Code code. Remote technicians can receive guidance from subject matter experts using Realeye. Annotations are sent from the subject matter expert on the web browser to the remote technician on the third eye glasses or mobile device. The GridEye application provides access to the thermal feed from the built-in thermal imager. This thermal imager provides an 8x8 temperature matrix representing the relative temperature in front of the camera. The thermal feed can be upscaled to provide a higher level of detail based on an internal upscaling approach. In the above, a hand is being waved in front of the thermal sensor. 